Nice to meet you. I'm Natasha, an underworld doctor. Feeling sick? <laughs> take a seat. Let me take a look. I'm in today, but that is not an excuse for misbehavior. <laughs> <sighs> today feels fighting fit. I see all kinds of patients. Some require a gentle touch. Others need a stern talking to before they take things seriously. <laughs> a doctor should always use the right cure for the right person. A patient's medicine doesn't just reveal their illness. It also offers a, a window into their desires and needs. People join wildfire for themselves. For the newborn next door without a mother. For the elderly with no home to return to. I still occasionally practice suturing on my old teddy bear. <laughs> Just like in the old days. People in the underworld have gotten used to making the best of a bad situation. That's why I have to keep reminding myself that we're nowhere near where we need to be. Humans long for freedom. If they go for too long without seeing the sky, they get ill. Both in body and mind. When the children's parents are away in the mines, the clinic becomes a kind of nursery. <laughs> to be fair, it's me who invites them. <sighs> Perhaps I need them more than they need me. Sila's already become a capable adult. I can't treat her like a child anymore. I heard she's been looking after the wounded vagrants. <laughs> what a girl. <sighs> when I first met Clara, she was replacing parts for her robots like a mechanic, but leaving her own wounds unattended. Oh, it was heartbreaking to watch. Svarag wants to preserve humanity, but... <laughs> He's not concerned about what humans truly think. If I know Sampo, the last thing he wants is to owe you a favor. He'll think of any way possible to pay you back. The longer you leave a favor, the harder it is to calculate its value. Sometimes I stand at the door of the clinic and watch her running and jumping around. And my tiredness simply goes away.